What's up guys? In 27 BC, I was the first to Dini. This ain't the first you've seen me, JBZ. This is way too easy here today for another video. For today's video, I will be showing you guys an amazing new cardistry cut that I created called Zombie Killer 162. Before I show you what Zombie Killer 162 looks like, I gotta say a couple of things. One, the reason why I named it Zombie Killer 162 is because soon the zombie apocalypse will reach the United States, if not already, and I need a weapon to fight back, and so far the only object that I have in abundance is deck of cards. So I guess that my only weapon against the zombie apocalypse will be a deck of cards. Which makes these deck of cards all zombie killers. And this deck just so happens to be deck number 1, 2, 3, 4, 162. So, party cup deck, deck 162, which means zombie killer 162. Yeah, don't subscribe, you've already lost a few brain cells. Anyways, another reason why I'm using the Bicycle Party Cup deck is because I'm not 18 yet, and I've never been to a party with alcohol involved, so I guess this is the next best thing. So let's rip open this deck of cards and let's see what Zombie Killer 612 looks like. In 27 BC, I was the first Houdini. This ain't the first you've seen me, j Bezzy, This is way too easy. Now, can we have that in Croatian slow motion? Thank you Croatia for that amazing slow motion effect. Before I get to teaching you guys about Zombie Killer 162, I want to say a couple more things. This party cup deck is an amazing deck made by Bicycle. So please if you guys want to buy it, I will leave a link to it in the description box down below so that you guys can go check it out yourselves. Also, I want to let you guys know that this might be my last video for about a week or so because this week I have a play at my school and I will be busy acting on stage and not being myself for about three days and I won't have time to upload a video. So I am uploading this one and hopefully you guys can watch this for about a week until I upload a new one. Also, you guys probably saw my schedule in the last video. That schedule will be coming back. But since I'll be busy this week with my schedule, I'll be uploading a video on Saturday instead of Sunday, which is today, Saturday, March 9th. Also, the last thing is on my rap channel, my album Real Life will be coming out on March 28th, 2019, also known as my 18th birthday. So please, when that comes out, you guys can check it out on Spotify and Apple Music and SoundCloud everywhere you guys want. So... Without further ado, let's get into teaching you Zombie Killer 162. Transition. This is how you learn to do Zombie Killer 162. This is a fantastic beginner three packet false cut that I had created specifically because I like cardistry. So, for those of you beginners out there who are just starting YouTube, you guys can use this cut to get you jump started into cardistry. So before we begin, just know that one prerequisite is needed for this cardistry cut. The first and only prerequisite is the Charlier cut. Now if you guys have been following me for the two years that I've been doing magic, you guys should know that I've already taught the Charlier cut on about maybe two or three of my videos. So please, please, I will leave a description box a link to the Charlier cut tutorial so you guys can go learn that. I won't be teaching it in this video because Zombie Killer 162 is more important. Crap! I already see zombies coming. We gotta hurry up, guys. The first thing that you gotta do is you gotta get down the Charlier cut, which, again, link in the description. Next thing you gotta do is you gotta take your middle finger and your thumb of your right hand. Take your middle finger, the zombie killing finger, and you're gonna put it at the edge, top right corner. Of the, of the playing cards and you're going to take your thumb and put it on the bottom left corner of the playing cards and you're going to break off maybe about 15 or so cards just like this and you're going to hold them in your right hand just like this you're going to take your index finger the one that you can point at the zombies at 
Step back, zombies. You're grounded, Mr. Misty. Yeah. Uh. So you're going to take your father pointing finger, and you're going to take it, and you're going to twist the cards around 180 degrees. So let's do that again. You're going to take the your father pointing finger, and you're going to twist the cards all the way around 180 degrees. And then what you're going to do is you're going to switch them back, just like that, so you should be in this position. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the cards, take this corner down here that you that is hidden behind my hand, and you're going to take it and you're going to push it into your palm. You're going to move your thumb down, and you're going to flip over the cards just like this. So that is the first step. And while this step is going on, you got to do a Charlier cut at the same time, just like that. So basically, you're going to put these together, and before you finish the Charlier, you're going to take this packet and out-jog it in the middle of those two packets that you just Charlier'd right there. So you should be in this position, where you have one packet down here, one packet up here, and this pack... Freaking outside vehicles! Thank you. So, what you should have is you should have one packet down here, one packet up here, and one packet sticking out just like it saw a pretty girl, if you know what I mean. So, once you have this position, what you're going to do is you're going to take the cards and you're going to Charlier cut again, and you're going to take out these cards. You're going to finish the Charlier, you're going to put these in here, just like that, in the middle of the packet. Now, before you finish this, you're going to take your four fingers, these four, on your right hand and your thumb. And you're going to take the packet that is up here. You're going to twist it, grab it with your thumb, just like that. So it's, it's just a good twisting motion. So once you get to here, you're going to Charlier. You're going to put these in the middle. And you're going to take these, twist them, and grab it with your left thumb. And then you're going to finish another Charlier, put in that packet on top and now you have successfully defeated all of the zombies that are coming your way. Great, great cut to get that zombie pussy. So, I'm going to show you guys a quick breakdown of how to do Zombie Killer 162 again. Just because I see maybe one or two zombies that are still alive. And I might want to murder them and cut off their heads. And put them on my wall in my bedroom. So you're going to take your middle finger and your thumb and place them on the corners. And you're going to take your father pointing finger and be able to twist the cards around and you're going to Charlier and put the cards sticking out just like that just like an erection so now that this card is joltingly happy you're going to take it and you're going to Charlier cut the cards you're going to put these in the middle of them and before you finish this cut you're going to take your hand your right hand the hand that you satisfy yourself with and you're going to twist it around and hold it with your thumb and then you're going to finish the Charlier cut just like that and then everyone will be happy, even the zombies, because they will be dead and hanging on your wall. So that was it for Zombie Killer 162. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys probably lost brain cells while watching it. Maybe some of you got eaten by zombies, but you know what? That is all right, because... There will be more videos like this coming. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want. I can't make you. The world might even be gone by now. Except for me. Because I have all of these zombie killing machines. But you never know. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Keep mastering life. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! I'm being eaten by a zombie! Ah! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm just messing around, you guys. There's no such thing as zombies. However, please don't forget to check out my new songs coming out on March 28th, 2019, which is my birthday. I will be gone this week, so please expect another video next weekend. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a conversation at the end of my video. You know, this is a new thing I might do. You never know. So, yeah, how you guys doing today? Wait, no one's here to talk to me. Fuck. Anyways, please keep mastering life and please being yourself. I love all of you. Thanks for all the support. Bye.